Hurricane Milton is expected to make landfall soon as a Category 3 hurricane. Although the storm is thousands of miles away from central Nebraska, the storm is finding a way to make an impact. Local force Leroy Triggs will tell you how. Leroy. Brandon, being from Louisiana, I've experienced my fair share of hurricanes. But Grand Island native Tanya Stevens has been a Cape Coral, Florida resident for a year and a half, and she's experiencing her first hurricane. Stevens and her family decided to ride out the storm as their home is hurricane grade, meaning their home is cinder block and reinforced with a metal bar filled with cement. Stevens felt with their home being able to withstand hurricane force winds, staying was the best option. She says they have a generator, 20 gallons of gas, and a water supply. But hurricanes come with storm surge, and Stevens isn't far from a large body of water. We have a lake right across the street from our house. <laughs> so maybe 100 yards from a lake, and as far as from the ocean, about morning, a mile down the road, a less than a mile day. is um, uh, the entrance to now. the Gulf of Mexico. And we have Cape Coral is expected to receive 8 to 10 feet of storm surge, and Stevens says emergency personnel will be unavailable during the hurricane, and gas stations were running low on fuel, and shelters are full. She also says there has already been two tornadoes touched down as a result of the hurricane. Everyone, everyone's nerves are on high alert, and, won't, and people, most, people, most people won't sleep when the hurricane is approaching. Now, Stevens says there's no basements in Florida homes, and at this moment, her and her neighbors will stay together and pray. Brandon, back to you.